the Twinkle Twinkle Star team on the violin. So, this is the violin, and oh, we are going to learn how to play oh, that famous song on this really nice instrument. <laughs> okay, so, right. Happy Halloween, my dear students. I am uh, here uh, to uh, teach you a bit on uh, how to play the main theme from uh, the Suzuki Violin Method Book 1 of uh, the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So, like uh, we gone over in class, I will I'll just try to practice the long uh, note, the full bow on, on the main theme there, right? So, I hope that you all have been uh, trying to learn how to tune your violin on your own. I only really need you to learn how to play uh, with D, A, and E strings, the second and the first string, okay? And I want you to be able to learn how to tune them with your fine tuners, remember? Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Turn right to make it higher, right? Oh, let I go like a Mario, oh, we're going up the tunnel, <laughs> right? Oh, to make it higher, oh, you go right, oh, righty tighty, left to make it the lower. We're going down into the tunnel, into the underground. Oh, we've got to watch out for the enemies, <laughs> right? Oh, to make it lower, you go left, right? <laughs> so. I have already shown you the app that you can use to tune your violin with, right? The sound quartet and metronome. Oh, that's really oh, the popular one there, but there are many, or you can find it on the Play Store online, or really you can tune by ear. But that would be best, even I don't really have good ears, right? But it's really important to be able to know the right note. Right, the right pitch on your strings, okay? I just need you to know how to fine tune them so that we don't or take so much time trying to um, tune them every time we meet. But anyway, okay? <laughs> so, like uh, Mario here, right? Uh, Mario needed to um, know how to um, go through the tunnels. Uh, he needed to know oh, how to uh, work with his uh, skills, right, and his power up so that oh, he could win the game. Oh, like here on the violin, we can also try to win our twinkle twinkle game. Okay, we can try to find our way through the violin here, go through the mazes of the fingerboard. We can think of the fingerboard like a tunnel or a maze, like Mario goes through. And I'll try to um, uh, win at the end, or win the level or at the end. Or like Mario, so it's a time to know how to level up. Okay? So here. <laughs> uh, now, like in class, I have showed you how to uh, play with the open string on your violin. You really should be practicing every day. I really need you to practice at least 30 minutes daily so that you can get the knack of or just trying to make a, a good sound out of the violin. Maybe we can try to start at the middle bow here. Okay. And then bow it. 
statistics, then the annals can try to pass it out long now, okay? And to the middle bow, to the tip, tip, to the middle, and back to the end, okay? Just like that. And then maybe, one more time, from the tip, to the very end, and then, we then, switch to the E string, or remember the level of the bow, or you can just, oh, use it like a lever, oh, like a hammer. Well, let's a hammer the violin. No, don't do that. <laughs> I just try to go gently, oh, angle it there. Oh, but like a hammer, you can just switch it gently, lever it, or oh, two, with that angle so that you can properly bow the e string. And then, let's try it, and the tip. Tip to end. In the twinkle twinkle theme, we will be using long notes, right? Really, we call them quarter notes in the order that they play the first part here. So, if you can, right, with the metronome, I would like you to try to practice it at the practice tempo, at the uh, 60 beats per minute. You can put it there on your metronome and then oh, you can play with your metronome there but oh, first oh, let's just play it uh, as we um, can go along oh, with oh, the flow of the bow. Okay? So like here let's try to play it in the middle bow. So I'll give a count off. Oh, one, two, three, and three, and four, and four. A, A, B, 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 Okay, if you can, try to put white tape there. I'll try to uh, help each of you to put uh, your white tape there to help you know where to put your fingers. Uh, but if you can, I'll try to put it uh, just like where my finger is there. We're going down to the third finger. Second finger, right? Close to the third finger. And then, oh, far apart from the second finger. Okay, and then, again, repeat. Open, open, three, three. Like Mario and Luigi or their neighbors, the second and third finger. Oh, it's you, Luigi. I got your Mario. They're going down. <laughs> Long note on the first finger. Then, again. Open, open, close together, second finger, long note, and then open, 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 twice, first finger, long note, open, then, going down, like before, three, three, two, two, one, You can live it up until next time. Hello. Hello, it's me, Dario again. Uh, do I hope you have practice playing the twinkle twinkle little star 
seem on your own. So, like before, I wanted you to practice with the law. And no, practice or lack of this, right? Oh, let's play it together one more time. So, like one and a two and a three and a two. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle twinkle like that you can make your own little game right I'll make your own story there right it's still there I just made that on the go <laughs> uh, Mario and Luigi <coughs> uh, were brothers not lost in the tunnels well, they were trying to find each other uh, through the mazes on the fingerboard through the tunnels in uh, the actual Super Mario game or uh, the really uh, did work together to try to find a way out of there, right? So, so at the end, they did get out of the tunnels and into another world, right? Or they had to find all uh, the power-ups to, to help them. So here, right, we have our mushroom <laughs> power up here you know, to um, make us feel better, make us feel bigger, mm, make our bowing bigger, so that oh, you can make a bigger sound, okay? Well, maybe like Mario, right? Mario gets bigger when he gets a mushroom. Right, he eats the mushrooms of that. <laughs> he can get through the level quicker. So like that, if you practice your bowing, bigger bowing, longer bowing with the long note, oh, you can get through the level faster. Okay. Well, maybe without a power up, it looks like that, but with a mushroom power up. Big sound every day if you can. Oh dear. Left hand, good and steady on the upper bout of the violin. Let's keep it safe. To keep it 
well and under your chin there so that it doesn't fall off while you're practicing, okay? While you're mm, doing the twinkle twinkle, right? It's really just switching back and forth, and then maybe E E, and then A A again. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for Ali starting there. Okay, you're a very good listener. Thank you for being with me. Oh, until uh, now, but oh, we can keep on going, right? Oh, we can do this. So next up here, oh, we are now on lesson two. Okay, so oh, we went down the tunnel, <laughs> and oh, we found oh, another world so okay <laughs> now we're going to do level two of the twinkle twinkle little star variations okay we can think of this like different levels so next up we are going to learn a new skill okay Mario uh, learns a lot of skills in Super Mario the game, right? Oh, he can turn into a flying tanuki, right? <laughs> oh, he can do that stuff oh, when he's in a different level, right? So, like now, we're going to learn a new skill, okay? But it takes a bit of doing to be able to learn a new skill, right? Oh, so Mario here on the Tanuki, oh, he can fly there, he had to learn how to do that, right? He had to <laughs> oh, jump up and <clears throat> punch that brick <laughs> so that he could get that skill, right? So here we're gonna learn how to punch our mm, brick so that we can learn a new thing today, okay? Just like Mario. <coughs> okay, but here, in the Twinkle Twinkle Variation A, here on page mm, 8 on the PDF that I shared with you, right, in Suzuki Book 1, or Violin, we have the variation A in the direction above it is red here to play mm. that um, part there those two eighth notes to stop the bow without pressure after each eighth note so here if you can, try to practice putting pressure on the bow, like that, okay? Not too much pressure, maybe? If you notice what I'm doing here, I am putting pressure mainly from my pointer finger, okay? But if you can, I'll try to put pressure with the whole right hand, or you can practice doing that, and then I want to hear a little crunching sound, okay? I want to hear that off your bow before you even move it, before you even bow it, you play the bow on the string. I want to hear something like that. That means that there's pressure that you're putting on the bow. So that will be our new skill that we will learn today. So, in this part, this variation, A in Twinkle Twinkle, we are going to focus on how to put 
put pressure on the bow, right? Like maybe how Mario goes down the tunnel. There's a lot of pressure <laughs> when he goes down there, right? A lot of um, air pressure <laughs> while he flies, uh, glides through the tunnel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a sliding <laughs> um, part of the way there too. So we're gonna learn how to put pressure on the bow, right? So there, in the twinkle twinkle little star, uh, variation A. There's the first part, okay? It's up here on my screen, but I hope you have it over there in front of you while we do it together. <laughs> so, here, let's practice just the first part. That first line of oh, the var A. We're gonna just call it var A, okay? That's a bit of a mouthful. We are going to start with the middle bow, like that, and then try to test out all your air pressure, your bow pressure there, like Mario going through the tunnels, your pressure going around him while he's sliding around, or try to mm, go through the mains, go through the level, and then I want you to make up quick movement like ooh, like that okay i want to hear a crunchy sound like right crunchy fried chicken oh, i want to hear that kind of sound okay a few times each direction with the boat if you can if you notice what I'm doing with my hand, you can try to do it like that. Or free up your right bow hand a bit. You can do that kind of motion, but it's okay. You can also just do it or like the way I taught you with, with the thumb under there. So if it's more comfortable or easier to put there, you can just do it with all of the right hand. string the first string and the same action going down and up with a crunch and then up with another crunch oh, crunchy fried chicken going down and up down up oops <laughs> I'll make sure well, you have your bow nice and steady there so that so you don't go flying off like maybe Mario flew off the tunnel and he <laughs> lost a life, right? Oh, but don't worry, Mario has a few lives. You know? But don't run out of lives just yet because you want to finish the level, right? So maybe like that, okay? Up, then up, up, down. Okay? Just like that, maybe for five minutes you can just practice going up and down with that amount of pressure. There should be a crunchy sound this time. I know it may not be that pleasant to hear, but we're just practicing how to put apply pressure on the bow so that we can make that kind of sound. And when uh, we're making that sound, I mean, uh, make sure your bow is in the middle bow. Okay, we call this the middle part of the bow so that we can make a nice, strong sound. Okay? 
So, what I did there was called uh, staccato, staccato. Okay, when we say staccato, it means like a crunchy or mm, hard sound. It really means a separated sound or a sound that's separated from the other notes, from the other open aims. Right? It sounds like it's not connected. Okay? That's what we mean by staccato. Okay? So, here, in the variation A, we are going to practice the first line, okay? So if you can, uh, set your metronome to 60 beats per minute. Six zero, so that we can have a nice starting tempo, right? So we don't have to rush it, we don't have to feel like we're going too fast, okay? So, here, right, remember, Put your violin on nine and relax under your chin and shoulder here. So I do have a shoulder rest here. If you want to, you can put that on there. But for now, let's remove it. We're going to learn how to play this thing properly without a training wheel, okay? So there's no shoulder rest there. Alexa. So. We'll make sure your violence like that between all your chin and shoulder nice and relaxed we're gonna try the twinkle twinkle lot vary so let's do a count off one and two and three and I guess like that oh, let me adjust the same Make it sound right. So again. Short. Short. Okay. If you can, you can practice it like this. So, you can say. in the U.S. I'm gonna remove my little mustache <laughs> for a bit here so I can talk to you a bit. Alright, I'm gonna go with the flag of Mississippi. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright. Uh, Mississippi is like down south in the U.S. of A. Okay, maybe you can find it on the map, is it there? Alright, somewhere down south, in the, in the deep south, there's a really mm, big and long river there. In the deep south, in the United States. So that's where the Mississippi River mm, travels or winds through, okay? Maybe you can find Mississippi there in the map, where is it? It's somewhere in the middle, I think. <laughs> ah, yeah, but... Ah, right. Right there. Uh, between uh, Louisiana and Alabama. Oh, oh, my drawing too doesn't quite work. Ah, uh, yeah, but I hope oh, you found it there. Okay? Oh. <laughs> so... Let's get rid of that. <laughs> so you can do it like this. You can oh, clap it out like this. This hot be hot. So, right? Short, 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 long, long. Right? Again. This is be hot. So, short, 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 long, long. Okay? So, again, oh, we're gonna do it with our violin. <laughs> like so. Make sure it's uh, well tucked in there. So like and then next we 
have our E first string. They're short, right? The longer notes are still short. It can be like short, 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 short. Then, next, first finger. together, right? Right? One and two and three and da 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 
Tata, Mississippi hot dog. Tata, 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 short, 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 staccato, staccato, short, short, Tata, 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 Like one, two, three, and Violent students, we got this. Okay, okay. 